It appears a suicide bombing that killed seven CIA officials in Afghanistan last week was a deadly betrayal. U.S. officials say the bomber was a double agent recruited by Jordanian intelligence to help hunt down al-Qaeda. He was allowed onto a military base last week without being searched. Our Barbara Starr is following development. She's live for us at the Pentagon this morning. Wow, this, this is just kind of doubles up on this tragedy, Barbara. Oh, John, it really is tragic and, and difficult to understand how this all happened. But a senior U.S. intelligence official who has served in the past tells us that the understanding is U.S. intelligence agents were off base, were not at this forward operating base. When they met this man, they put him into a vehicle to drive him back to the base without searching him. But that, by all accounts, is where the failure occurred, letting him get in a vehicle, driving him back, no search. <clears throat> Pardon me. Pardon me. He detonated his suicide explosives on the base. Seven CIA operatives and a Jordanian military officer killed in this attack. Why could they have possibly trusted him? By all accounts, he had been recruited and was believed to be a trustworthy source. He had provided valuable intelligence on high-level targets in the past. They believed that he had intelligence about Ayman al-Zawahri, Osama bin Laden's number two. This was critical, but this failure occurred and he was allowed into this base without being searched, John. Barbara, do they, as you said, he provided um, information on high-level targets in the past. Did anybody have any theories or any information on how he suddenly turned back the other way? Was he plotting this all along, just trying to gain their trust? Well, let's, let's look possibly at the identi identity of this man who's identified as uh, with the name al Balawi. He was a Jordanian who had already been arrested in Jordan for militant activities. The Jordanians believed he'd been rehabilitated and had basically come to the other side. Uh, he actually came from the same small home, uh, hometown in Jordan as Abu Musab al-Zarqawi, the one-time leader of al-Qaeda in Iraq. Uh, did he ever really come to the other side? Was he always uh, harboring these militant beliefs and nobody realized it? Uh, the Jordanians, of course, quietly are one of the most valuable U.S. allies in the war on terror. They have, uh, by all accounts, first-rate counterintelligence services in Jordan. So clearly the Jordanians will be looking at this, and it should be noted they lost a member of the royal family mm -hmm. in this attack. The Jordanian military officer, who was his handler, was actually a cousin to King Abdullah. Uh, so this hits very close to home for the Jordanians. Hey, and some potential implications here as well, because as you said, Jordanian intelligence has been working very closely with the CIA. The extent of those ties, probably not something that uh, King Abdullah wants out there in the public forum. He, he certainly has kept this very quiet for years. The Jordanians not officially talking about it. All of this information comes from U.S. officials. And you're absolutely right. Look, King Abdullah, the Jordanian government, are crucial to the U.S. in two ways. The Middle East peace process and everything that goes on in that region and the fight against al-Qaeda, a very secret, a very covert fight in which the Jordanians have been directly helping by all accounts for many years. King Abdullah walks a very fine line in the Middle East as a close U.S. ally but also knowing that he has a militant faction, a very fundamentalist faction in his own country, plus the Palestinian population in Jordan. This puts the king, the royal family, and the Jordanian government in one of the toughest, most delicate positions in the region. Not something that they want to talk about, but it should be noted, King Abdullah publicly received the body of the Jordanian officer who was killed in Amman. It was covered in the Jordanian press. They just didn't say how he was killed, John. Barbara Starforce at the Pentagon this morning. Barbara, thanks for the update.